If you're not a cash buyer and you think our market is overpriced, you need to watch this video. I'm confident you're gonna have a different perspective. Watch and find out why. This is Jeremy with the Live Joy Southwest Florida channel. We talk about all things living in Southwest Florida and real estate. If you're new to our channel, please hit the subscribe button, ring the bell. That will make sure you get notified every time we launch new contact. And if you want to reach out to me directly, again, my name is Jeremy. My cell phone number is 239-771-6237. I look forward to talking to you live real soon. So I asked you to watch the video for a reason. We talk about two things when we're buying real estate. First, we talk about the purchase price. And then we also talk about the APR. That's if you're lending. This is a historic seller's market. So we've seen prices rise quickly, whether it was the last month, the last quarter, certainly over the last year. So when you say it's overpriced, only time will tell. What I would refer you to is the market update I did last quarter. We'll have another one probably closer to the end of July for Q2. But when you look at the market data, there's a couple things that jump out. Demand is real. It's not like the crash from 2008. There is pent up demand to buy homes, especially in Florida and the Sun Belt in general. If you look at the affordability index, when you look at what's happening in the market, all the indicators we have, and again, I refer you back to the market update, they suggest that our prices are gonna to continue to climb. Interestingly, they're also talking about the interest rates going up. In fact, just this week, the Fed's announced rate hikes that will be coming up in the next couple of quarters. I think everybody understands 3% mortgage rates are unbelievable, but they're not here to stay. They're not going to be here forever. So as we sit by in a marketplace waiting for the price to drop, it's very likely that we're going to see the APRs start to come up for the interest rates. I said that if you're using lending, you're going to want to watch this video. There is a huge increase in the number of cash buyers in our market, but it's still way south of the majority. So if you're using lending, and chances are you are, you need to understand the relationship between your purchase price and the APR of your loan. And the reason I bring this up is I'm hearing almost daily now, we're going to just wait. Prices are going to come back down. So I wanted to share with you what that actually means and run through a hypothetical scenario. I shared with you that I wanted to go through a little scenario and I have some notes. I wanted to walk you through what would happen if you just took a year, let's say. And again, this is just a hypothetical scenario that I've made up. But let's say you're gonna put 20% down on a home that costs 750,000. If you were to buy that home today at 750,000 and you put 20% down, you're gonna have a loan of 600,000 because you're putting six or $150,000 down. If the interest rate is 3%, which seems to be the mark right now, your monthly payment for principal and interest is $2,529. Now, let's say the year goes by and the prices, good news, the prices come down 10%. So on a $750,000 purchase, you now have a $675,000 purchase price. The 20% down is $135,000. Your loan balance is gonna be 540,000. Now, let's suggest or let's assume the interest rates have gone up 1%. That's, that's possible. So you were looking at 3% on 750, now you're looking at 4% on 675. The monthly payment on that is $2,578. It's actually $49 more a month to buy the house $75,000 less and only 1% higher on the interest rate. And it's worth noting that scales, whether you're 10% down, 30% down, the math still works. So I just want you to understand the relationship between the purchase price and the APR. I think it's more complicated than you probably realized. So here are my takeaways. There's no indication that the market is gonna drop right now. Any meaningful increase in APR is gonna have a significant impact on your monthly mortgage payment. The double whammy of this could be that if you wait the year and the prices don't drop, which is what all indicators are showing us, and in fact the prices increase, 
and we have the APR increase, you might get priced out of this market. Or worse, your must-have list, you end up making concessions from. So folks, don't let emotion sit you on the sideline in this market. Waiting it out might not be the right strategy. No one has a crystal ball. This is real estate. Things go up, things go down. I just wanted you to understand that while things might come down, interest rates for sure are gonna go up and that's gonna have a pretty significant impact. So what's stopping you from living the Florida lifestyle? Keep in mind, everybody, live joy, Southwest Florida. Oh, <laughs> oh,